in Canton, the clicks keep coming. This brick and mortar outfit is much more about the bricks. The more bricks, the better. You see the eyes? There is another Lego master among us. Yes, I am a Lego master. <laughs> I got the letter in the mail. An engineer by trade, Paras Patani, has found what fits. Everybody calls me Mr. Lego. So with these blocks, we can control the motor. And so I've built this reputation, and, um, and I love it. His five-year-old enterprise, Next Gen Smarty Pants, squarely focuses on the rectangular pieces with the cylindrical studs. Next Gen Smarty Pants teaches robotics, coding, circuits, engineering, Lego building, Lego design, Lego CAD, anything that's cool, we teach. And he is one more example that living La Vida Lego can take you places. That's right. The greatest competition ever assembled is back. Paras was selected for season two of Fox's Lego Masters. You're playing for $100,001. On the line is $100,000 and even more in bragging rights. You know, we actually talked about it quite a lot. Lego Masters is kind of like the Olympics of the Lego world. It's absolutely surreal when you go in and you see all, you know, the brick pit, five million bricks, and just uh, the blue of the environment, the cameras, the lights, the sound. And mostly, most, uh, most importantly, it was the people. What transpires on a national stage is a secret. But from base plates to Bram spheres, sig figs to swooshables, everything is now in play. We just want to see each other do our best. People should watch the show and root for the local guy. In Canton, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. All right, we're rooting for the uh, local guy. Paras follows in the footsteps, by the way, of Jessica Ewood, a contestant from Reading who made it to the finals in season one of Lego Masters. You can catch the season two premiere of Lego Masters tonight at 8 p.m. right here on Fox 61. Go Paras. I was going to say, of course, we're rooting for the home sure. guy. Of course we are. Well, still to come on the Fox 61 News.